The number of arrests at the U.S. southern border has never been higher. U.S. Border Patrol recorded 2.4 million migrant encounters in the last fiscal year. Pedro was one of them. He says he crossed through seven countries to get from Venezuela to the United States. The main reason uh, why I had to go is because I was scared. Pedro was among 150,000 Venezuelans allowed to remain in the country to file for asylum. Most of those asylum seekers wait near the border to be processed, but recently governors from Republican-led border states have been putting migrants like him on buses and sending them to Democratic-led cities in protest of federal immigration policies. With a record number of migrants crossing into the United States and arriving in cities like New York by the busload, the government has promised to allow 24,000 Venezuelans to remain in the country and work on humanitarian grounds. But they have to apply before they get here. And thanks to a deal with Mexico, those who enter the country illegally going forward will be deported without a chance to file for asylum under a law enacted during the pandemic. President Joe Biden has blamed the latest increase in border crossings on a handful of autocratic countries, including Venezuela. We have a process in place to manage migrants at the border. We're working to make sure it's safe and orderly and humane. Republican officials should not interfere with that process by waging a politi these political stunts. But it's not just Venezuelans being deported. Since the administration uh, came into office, something like 30,000 people have been deported to Haiti at a time where the country is going through uh, very extraordinary challenges. Migrant advocates say the U.S. policy is inhumane. He's using Trump era policies to sh pretty much shut down our border in a really horrific way where you're stopping people who desperately need um, support um, from being able to come in. As for those already in the country like Pedro, they have one year to apply for asylum. In the current political climate, he worries his future here is anything but certain. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera, New York.